So today I'm going to show you how you can take a sketch from the Git repository and you can uh, copy it to your machine. So let's first uh, go to the uh, Git repository. Go to the bitbucket.com and we open, uh, uh, let's say, my account. And then we can see here a list of different repositories. And we can choose this one, Processing uh, Mandala. You can take a look about this, uh, what's over here. You can hear, you can see here it's a description of the project. It's called Mandala, created by Michal Huller. And it's a sinus dream, and so on. It's tri trigonometry, and so on. So basically, you can actually even browse the source. You can just take a look at the Mandala PDE. You can see it's our favorite sketch file with the setup and everything. But we prefer actually to uh, use it on our machine rather than just looking online. Then we go back to overview, and over here we have this special URL. It has two options, HTTPS and SSH. Now we're going to use HTTPS for simplicity of this tutorial. In the future you're going to be using SSH, but it's easier to begin with the HTTPS. So I go right click, I copy the URL, and we are basically done over here. Next thing we're going to do uh, is to, to... we can open actually a PDE. And um, remember about this thing which is called the sketchbook folder. Your sketchbook folder is this folder which contains, for example, your sketches. So I made uh, one uh, simple sketch before, really simple. It suggests me to, uh, to open firewall. So this is the, uh, the simple sketch and it's located in my sketch folder. Remember that the sketch folder is just the folder inside of your documents folder. There is a processing folder, and that's the sketch called the sketchbook folder, or the sketchbook of processing. If I open this one, I can see here is the my sketch um, source. You can see the same name here, same name here. And there are two or, th uh, or three more libraries for modes, libraries, and tools. So uh, now I'm not really interested in this one or this one. I just opened the PDE so that I can illustrate to you what is a processing directory. So, um, how to clone the repository? So you go um, go back uh, to where you can select your processing directory, and you all you have to do is just right click right click on it. Provided you have installed the Git tools before and you have installed the Cheetah plugin. Uh, which I have uh, as well uh, emphasized during the previous lesson, you will have these three options. Git init here, git GUI, and git bash. We're going to select git bash now. So now what we open is the command line interface for git. It's very easy and, you know, it's very simple and that's something you're going to be using every day, several times a day. That's going to be your thing. You can see that once you have chosen it, it opened inside of the folder processing, C users, video maker, documents processing. So now we're inside and even here on the top of the window you can see this is the folder. Over here we're not still inside on Windows Explorer, we're not yet inside of the folder so we can double click and we're going to be inside of the folder. And here if I uh, type ls-l which is the command for listing the current directory you can see that there is a libraries, mode, sketch, everything what you see here. Now we are sure that we are in the right folder. So all we have to do now is to type, uh, just to clone a git repository. We type git clone and then we can actually shift insert from our, uh, from the, it's like control V, control C. Uh, it's like control paste, paste in the URL. I'm gonna show you again. So basically all you have to do, if you, you can type here git and it's gonna show you all the list of the things. You can, you can type git status and it's gonna tell you there is no repository and that's true, there is no repository over here. And um, we, uh, we, we want to clone the, the git repository, so all we have to do is just to type git clone and then control V doesn't work here, so in this one, in order to paste something from your clipboard, you press Shift Insert. Okay, I probably have put, put something wrong inside of this, uh, inside of my clipboard, so I can open again bit bucket, dim here, and I can go to the repository. I can right click and copy, and then I select this window and I press Shift Insert, and you can see that I have beautiful uh, full path of the repository. 
and now it tells us cloning this one into processing mandala and it's perfect and it's all down you're ready you're again over here and in the, in the prompt it's finished and you can see that in this folder you have the folder called processing mandala this is your sketch everything is fine the only thing which is a bit of a, of a, of a trick is in processing the main file should be same as the name of the directory so now we just can we, uh, we can see that the main file here is called mandala pde and uh, we just have to rename the folder like this so I just rename it to mandala so that processing doesn't get crazy so now I can open the PDE and once I open it it will know that there is this mandala file and I can open the mandala sketch and now I can run it and I can run it and it works, you can stop, you can continue, you can new, you can change different modes and everything and try to save and um, so the sketch works perfectly, you have just cloned your first repository, congratulations